Hello my beautiful glam queens, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here I am Alicia, lover of makeup and glam rock and we are going to the Grammys. So come with me to the red carpet where we discuss the hair and makeup, yes we do, and then I will get into a few honorable mentions after that. So first I just want to let you guys know I do post the Instagram handles of the hairstylist and makeup artist down here in case I mispronounce them. You can see it right there. Don't you worry, I got you guys. I'm feeling fancy today. Okay, let's go to the red carpet. So first celebrity up is Lainey Wilson. Makeup artist is Nikki De Roest and she used a variety of products. So starting off with foundation, we have CL Cosmetics Tint and Protect SPF 50 in 5 medium. Now for the concealer, we have Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte Concealer in Sugar Biscuit 3.5N. For powder, also Huda Beauty, we have Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder and Setting Powder in Banana Bread and Sugar Cookie. Back to CL, we have the Contour Sculpt and Protect, which is coming soon in March, in shade Medium. Then CL Blush and Protect SPF 50 Liquid Blush in Bahati Dusty Rose. Then we have a brand called All Even, where she used Instant Lip Cheek Eye in gold. Then for the lip liner, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 606 Wherever Walnut Brow Eye Lip Liner. Then Chanel Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lip Color in a Demi Mo 196. Now for the brows, we have Huda Beauty Balm Brows Micro Shade Brown Pencil in Light Brown 4. Now from the brand called Make Beauty, she used Sculpting Brow Gel for the eyeshadow. Tom Ford Beauty Extreme Eye Color Quad 26 Leopard Sun. Now for the eyeliner, we have Victoria Beckham Beauty Satin Casual Liner in Cocoa. But that is not all. We also have Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Eyeliner Pencil in Super Black. Now for the lashes, we have a collaboration Sweet Beauty with Nikki Makeup No Lash Lash Lashes. <laughs> now we have Tower 28 Beauty Make Waves Mascara Drift. Now she did use something all over her body, even though she did have a jacket. You could probably see it in the chest area. She used All Even Color Shield Glow Face and Body Luminizing Body Enhancer in Pearl. And that's it. That's it for Lainey. We are now going to move on to Victoria Monet. We have hairstylist I am Devante and makeup artist MUA Alexander. Now this part is for the hairstylists out there. We have Wella Costin Perfect 4 slash 0 using 30 volume for highlights. Now for the low lights we have 5 slash 7 1 with 20 volume. Then he toned it with 8 slash 3 with 10 volume. Now for the products we have Ultimate Repair Miracle Hair Rescue. Then he blow dried it and curled it with a 2 inch barrel hair curler, then applied a texture spray and did a French roll. Last, he used a gloss spray and hairspray. Mm, she looks lovely. Now, moving on to the makeup, we have MAC Cosmetics. Woohoo, MAC. Alexander used Studio Radiant Serum Powered Foundation in NC50 and NC55. Connect in Color Eyeshadow Palette Unfiltered Nudes and MAC Stack Mascara Chestnut Lip Liner, Maximal Silky Matte Lipstick in Kinda Sexy, Neutral, Pinky Rose. She looked amazing. This is probably one of my favorite looks, especially the necklace. That neckline with the hair up to show off the necklace. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we are moving on to Ice Spice. Yes. <laughs> Karina Milan, makeup artist, used... Charlotte Tilbury, starting off with Hollywood Flawless Filter 2.5 Fair, then Airbrush Flawless Foundation 3. Could be cool or neutral or warm, not sure, but we're moving on to Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer 3 Fair, then Airbrush Bronzer Medium 2, then Matte Beauty Blush Wand Pillow Talk Pink Pop, and Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter Pillow Talk Glow, and Supermodel Body Highlighter for the body. And last, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now we're moving on to the eyes. We have the Beauty First Palette Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette and Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara. The Feline Flick 
Panther and Hollywood Exaggerize Liner Duo. Now for the lips, we have Lip Cheat Liner, Foxy Brown, Suede Brown Lip Liner. Now for the new one, Charlotte's Hollywood Beauty Icon Lipstick, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, Icon Baby. And Collagen Lip Bath Pillow Talk Lip Gloss. For me, it was definitely the lipstick and gloss. The gloss was popping. That is what made the look for me. Yes. Okay, we're going to move on. Now we have Ed Sheeran. Mm-hmm. Marla Vasquez, MUA, and Groomer. We just have the brands, Makeup Forever, Oribe, and Dyson for the hair. It definitely looks like the hair blower was blowing this way and the hair just went whoosh, like that. Or it could have been the rain or the wind and the rain <laughs> altogether. A cool hair in the wind blowing look. Yes, okay, moving on. Next we have is Miley Cyrus. Looking very, and this is from my brother, he totally nailed this, uh, Tina Turner from Mad Max. It was definitely a tribute to Tina Turner. Actually, a lot of looks that night was a tribute for Tina Turner. Yes, I enjoyed that. I mean, dancing and everything. Yeah, that was very good. Okay, okay. So, we have Bob Rison, hairstylist, and makeup artist is James Kelliardos. Now for the hair, the beautiful lion's mane, we have... Nexus products. We have Epic Shine Anti Humidity Spray, then Thermal Shield Spray, Prep and Protect, Heat Defense Spray. Then he blow dried it with a round brush and used Nexus XXL Volume Medium Hold Hairspray. Of course, he teased the roots and used some Velcro rollers on top of the head. Don't see that too often, but it gets the job done. And last, Nexus Repair and Nourish Ultra Lightweight with Rose of Jericho Oil hair oil. Now for the makeup, James used Pat McGrath. We have Mothership 10. Visually, you will see an X when you purchase it. Moonlit Seduction Eyeshadow Palette. Then Chroma Lux Artistry Pigment in Twilight Temptation. And Golden Seductress. Next, we have Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer in Light 4. Then Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in Light 4. And Skin Fetish Divine Bronzer in Nude Honey. Then Divine Blush Legendary Glow Color Bomb Forbidden Fleur and Fleur Teak. Then Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter Nude Opal. Then Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Shade. That's the name. Shade. The actual color's name is Shade. <laughs> Which is a mid-tone taupe. Then Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Extreme Black and Dark Star Mascara. Now he does want you to know that this is all her lashes. No falsies were used. Wow, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in Divine Bronze Collection, Nude Venus. Then Matte Trans Lipstick, Heart's Desire Edition, Honey Haze. Next we have is Coco Jones, VIP Hair Ashanti, and makeup artist Diana Shin. Now all products that were used for makeup and hair is L'Oreal. Of course, L'Oreal. So, starting off with the hair, we have L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Extra Strong Hold Unscented Hairspray and Ever Pure Sulfate Free 21 in 1 Color Carrying Leave In Spray. The only thing that's not L'Oreal is the Dyson. Now, for the makeup, we have Infallible Grip Mechanical Gel Eyeliner in Brown Denim, then Brow Stylist Definer Mechanical Waterproof. Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette and Soft Black. Next we have is True Match Lumi Glotion Natural Glow Enhancer in 904 Deep Glow. Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in 530 Deep Amber. And Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Soft Matte Blush in Daring Rosewood. Ooh. Now for the lips, we have Color Rich Intense Volume Matte Lipstick in Worth It. For the lashes, we have Kiss Products, the new natural lashes in Wide Slacks, and Kiss Super Strong Strip Lash Adhesive. Moving on to Lana Del Rey. Wow. Intian Ortega, makeup artist, and Anna Cofone, hairstylist. So for makeup, we have Charlotte Tilbury, Supermodel Body, Body Highlighter, then the Beautyverse Palette Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette and the Super Nudes Duo Liner, then the Feline Flick, 
and Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. Next we have is Brow Fix Sculpting Gel and Hollywood Flawless Filter 4.5 Medium and Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation in 5 Neutral. Then Hollywood Contour Wand in Light Medium and Airbrush Flawless Finish in 2 Medium and Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. Now we have Airbrush Bronzer in Fair and Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. But of course. Then Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. We also have Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude and Hollywood Beauty Icon Lipstick in K-I-S-S-I-N-G Icon Baby. Moving on to the hair, we have Authentic Beauty Concept, that's the brand, Flawless Primer and Indulging Fluid Oil, then Airy Texture Spray and Nude Powder Spray, then Working Hairspray and Stronghold Hairspray, then Hand and Hair Light Cream. Now she mentioned that she used a waist length silk bow. That's probably my favorite part of this look is the bow. And she was inspired by Bardot Ooh, with the fringe. Very interesting. <laughs> Next we have Gracie Abrams. Bobby Elliott is the hairstylist and Tyrone McCalson, makeup artist. Now for the hair, we know that he used John Frieda products. Yes, very nice. And that's it. We're moving on to makeup. So makeup that was used is Chanel. Here we go with Chanel. So we have number one, the Chanel Revitalizing Foundation in B10 and B20. Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Blush in Corail Giva and Rose Polaire. Poudre Universelle Libre in 20. Then Stilo Your Waterproof Long Lasting Eyeliner in Eben. Le Four Ombre Multi Effect Quadra Eyeshadow Claire Obscure. Ombre Premier Lac Long Wear Liquid Eyeshadow in Rayon. Le Gel Sourcey Long Wear Eyebrow Gel in Transparent. Then Stilo Sourcey Waterproof Defining Long Wear Eyebrow Pencil in Brown Profond. Balm Essential Multi Use Glow Stick in Transparent. Then Le Sambol de Chanel Le Lion. Oversized Illuminating Powder in Pearly White. And Le Crayon Lever Longwear Lip Pencil in Rose Natural. Last, we have 31 Le Rouge in Rouge Croisier. Yes, she looked lovely in Chanel. Okay, now we're going to move on to Chanel Monet. Chanel, Chanel. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Kill Pretty was the makeup artist and Nikki Nelms, hairstylist. So for the makeup, he used L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation, then True Match Super Blendable Concealer, yes, and Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Soft Matte Blush, then Brow Stylist Definer Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil, then Infallible Grip Mechanical Gel Eyeliner, then Voluminous Panorama Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. Next we have is True Match Lumi Glotion Natural Glow Enhancer and Color Rich Lip Liner in Plume and Color Rich Satin Lipstick in Sundance. She always looks perfect. I know. I always have to talk about her. Chef's kiss. Just chef's kiss. Gorgeous. Especially her hair. So her hair is Maui Moisture. Lightweight Curls plus Flaxseed Edge Control. So good and so perfect. Okay, we're going to move on. Next we have is the Kelly Clarkson. Robert Ramos hair, hairstylist, and Glow Glow makeup, makeup artist. Both of them, makeup and hair, used a variety of products. So, here we go. <laughs> Foundation first, we have Go Gen Do My Fan She Moisture Foundation. Then Denisa Myricks Illuminating Veil Liquid Highlighter, Luna. Powder used was from two brands, Ket Cosmetics and Rodial Beauty. For eyebrows, we have three brands, Charlotte Tilbury, Brett Glam Beauty, and Benefit Cosmetics. For the eyes, we have Girl Attic The Essential Palette and Violet Vaz Cool Vibes Palette. Now highlighter, we have Hourglass Cosmetics Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder and MAC Cosmetics Hyper Real Glow. 
Now for blush, we have Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Italian Summer. Contour, we have Makeup by Mario, Soft Sculpt Bronzer. Now for eyeliner, we have Rodial Beauty, Eye Sculpt Liner in Burnt Truffle and Black Coffee. And an eyeliner from Shantakai, Raven, or Black. Now for the lips, we have MAC Cosmetics, Lip Pencil, Strip Down, and Cork. Then Rodial Beauty, Lip Sculpt Liner, Pink Velvet. Then we have Cinegen's Lipstick in Milk Rose and Beige Champagne or uh, Beige Cream. Then Setting Spray from Scandinavia, the Makeup Finishing Spray. Now for the hair. We just have the brands, but I still want to go over them with you. So he used his own brand, Robert Ramos Products, and then Cashmere Hair Extensions and a brand called Kevin Murphy and Eleven Australia. Then Leonor Grail and... Hot Tools. Oh yeah, Hot Tools. Can't forget Hot Tools. I think everybody started out with that brand. Mm -hmm. Used absolutely every single product on Kelly's face. So she basically has romantic waves in her hair. Big waves. And my favorite part of it is her eyes. The eyeshadow, the eyeliner, the lashes. Mm, beautiful. Now we're going to move on to my honorable mentions. Aww. Okay, so first. My favorite honorable mention is Dua Lipa. Uh, she looked gorgeous that night. Absolutely gorgeous. We have Lisa Eldridge makeup for makeup. Then Peter Lux hair, the hairstylist. But let's talk about that hair color. The red. Oh, I love the red. It was so good. Hair color was done by Color Matt Rez. The red came out amazing. Looks so good. Oh my gosh. Mm, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're going to move on to Taylor Swift. Oh, Taylor Swift. We have Lori Turk, makeup artist, Gemma Muradian for hair. Now I want to talk about the hair a little bit. We had a braid coming from here all the way down to here. And then her hair was just naturally like, basically she just wanted to look comfortable. At least that's what I think she wanted to do. Just have it down not even curled. Now I can't tell, but it does look like it got a little bit of some rain damage. It looked a little wet down there, or if that's just the style, I'm not too sure. But I thought it was pretty cool how the braid kind of just laid on top through the hair. Actually, I'm pretty surprised how well everybody's hairstyle stayed in place with the rain and the wind. I don't know how, but they did it. Then I am loving this hairstyle from Mark Ronson, done by Jamie grooming. It just looks like they did this a little bit. <laughs> Mess up my own hair. But anyways, he pulled it off. <laughs> Unless if it did get hit by the uh, rain or wind. But like I said, he pulled it off. Next, of course, I have to talk about all of Slipknot. Yes, basically, well, not all of them were there, but some of them were there. Uh, but they were there. Yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> First, I want to talk about the one without the mask. We have Jay, who went with his long hair, very nicely groomed, and the lady in his arms looking very lovely with an updo. I actually love how similar their hair color is to each other. Very nice. A very couple thing to do. Moving on to the ones with mask, we have the lovely ladies next to them. Wanted to talk about Kelly with her hair color, of course. Yes, the one with the purple. I think you guys all recognize her. <laughs> I was actually surprised that she was there, but then again, I should be surprised that Slipknot were even there. So, we're going to move on to a member of Metallica, Rob. Yeah. With his long hair, down, casual. I love that he came as himself, of course, but well-groomed. Yeah, actually, I don't think I could get my hair looking that good on a rainy, windy day, <laughs> so... Kudos to him. He did good. Kudos to whoever groomed him. Very nice. Okay, that's it. That was the end of the Grammys. Woo! We were dancing, we were partying. Well, in my living room I was, at least. <laughs> but let's get into who did you like at the Grammys? Who's your favorite hair and makeup? Or did you just like a particular lipstick, eyelashes, eyeshadows? Let me know. And of course... Thank you for coming along this red carpet. I really enjoyed it. It was nice seeing it in a dry area, the comfort of my own home. Really enjoyed it. 
And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Of course, remember to like this video, subscribe, ring that bell when I come out. Usually I come out with these whenever there's an award ceremony, of course. So I'll see you then. Also, if you guys like to check out my You Voted videos, I come out with those once a week. I will be starting those up again soon. Yes. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Keep on loving that makeup and keep on rocking. Oh yeah. By the way, Paramore won an award. Gee, I wish they showed those. I think they said there's an unedited version online that you could watch the awards so we could watch the rock and roll ones. I don't know why they don't show those on TV. Anyways, that's beside the point. Okay, bye.